Hi guys, welcome. This is a short video on um, instructions of inserting a um, a picture in the body of your Outlook Express email. Well, the first thing you do is you click on Create Mail, and that's creating a new mail thing. And, and I've just done that. And um, then you dress it more later if you want to. I usually do mine first. And um, I'm calling it pick, I'm sending it to myself. And uh, before I put my cursor down here, I want to go up here to where it says insert. You see where it says picture and it's grayed out? Well, if you don't put your cursor down here in the body of the email somewhere that you want your picture, then uh, it will be grayed out and you won't be able to insert a picture. So uh, you go down to wherever you want to insert your picture. I want to put mine before my salutation. So then you go back up to insert, you choose picture. Okay, then you get over here where it says, this comes up where it says browse, and browse simply means, for people who don't know, means that you're just going to be looking for a folder that contains your pictures. And if you have uploaded your pictures from a digital camera, sometimes they store, they're store they stored under my documents, my pictures, but people store pictures everywhere. So if someone stored it beside you, you need to ask them you know, where you put them. And so you uh, click on Browse, and I put mine in a folder called A. And then I'm going to open this one right here. Click on it, and you say OK. And there it is. OK, well, sometimes, uh, at this point, you might want to send it, but um, I want to say something about attaching a file. Um, at some po Sometimes people will send you these huge emails uh, with pictures in them that you can't see because they're so large and that's because they haven't like edited them. So if you're going to do that all the time it, you, and people just may just want to look at the picture and not save it or open it or anything in the body, uh, then you want to make it a little smaller. But that's just entirely up to you and it depends on what the person receiving it is going to do with it. So that, uh, you know, and if you don't uh, want to put it in the body of your email and you think it's too large or whatever, then you go up here where this um, paper clip is and you click on it and you're going to attach the file to the email and here's a one of my husband John that I'm going to attach. I click attach and there it is right there. Now then you click on send Okay, I've sent it to myself, and then I've opened it, and so here, here is the picture that I sent to myself, and here's the attachment. In order to open an attachment that people send you, then you need to right-click on it, and open it, or print it, or save it, or whatever you choose to do. But in this case, I'm just going to save as, and then my file comes up, and this isn't where my file is, so I have to look for it, and it's in C. Uh, char A folder and I just want to save it right there but because I already have one called S John in order not to override it I will make it S John Z just for fun and then you say save okay guys I hope this was helpful God bless you all see you soon